Let's make my latest pattern called Padlock, which uses fat quarters. And Padlock is a quick and easy pattern that you can complete within a day in the smaller sizes. And it is also beginner friendly. And speaking of smaller sizes, this pattern will be available as a PDF pattern in five quilt sizes, baby throw, twin, queen, and king. Now this pattern is also perfect if you have fat quarters with large scale prints and it also works excellent with directional print fabrics too. You'll just have to be a little bit more mindful about your fabric placement, but it is possible. Now I am using Gingham Foundry by Riley Blake Fabrics. That's a mouthful for me to say. Now I won't need all of the fat quarters within this bundle, so I am just going through and selecting which prints that I want. But once you have all the fat quarters you need for the quilt size you are planning to make, all you're going to do is iron them open to get rid of those pesky folded seams. Then once all of your fat quarters are ironed and ready to be cut, from each fat quarter you are going to cut four four and a half inch strips on the 18 inch side, which is the shorter side of your fat quarters. But from those strips, two of them, you're going to cut two four and a half inch by 16 and a half inch rectangles. Then one of those strips, you're going to cut two four and a half inch by eight and a half inch rectangles. And with the last strip, you're going to cut four four and a half inch squares. Now, of course, all of this will be written down within the PDF download, as well as a diagram of how to cut your fat quarters, because you will be using just about the whole fat quarter, so there is no room for error. So please be sure to check five times before you make your cuts. Now you can also stack your fat quarters and cut multiple layers at once, but my fat quarters are a little bit uneven in some random areas. So I am actually going to take my time and cut each fat quarter one by one. But once all of your fat quarters are cut, to make one block you are going to select two four and a half inch squares, one four and a half inch by eight and a half inch rectangle, and lastly, one four and a half inch by 16 and a half inch rectangle, all from the same print. Then next you will be selecting a different print and grab once again, two four and a half inch squares, one four and a half by eight and a half inch rectangle, and lastly, one four and a half by 16 and a half inch rectangle. And I've already gone ahead and laid out my pieces into the block shape that we will be creating. So from then on, we are going to sew the four and a half inch squares to both sides of the four and a half by eight and a half inch rectangles with a quarter inch seam allowance. A little tip, press your seams to the opposite direction and this will help you out later on. Then continuing on, take the four and a half inch by 16 and a half inch rectangles on the sides and sew them to the unit that you just created with a quarter inch seam allowance. Now that both your halves are created, you're going to just sew them together to complete your quilt block and you're done. It is that simple, it's pretty easy and your block will finish at a 16 and a half inch square which will make a nice big jumbo quilt block. But once all of your blocks are sewn together, the layout is pretty easy as well. You'll just lay your blocks out together and rotate every other block 90 degrees. It's that simple. Then of course, once you have your layout, you're going to sew your blocks together to form rows. And lastly, sew your rows together to complete your quilt top. And here is what my finished quilt top looks like. Now, as much as I would love to custom quilt this quilt, I am actually custom quilting a large king size quilt at the moment, which has taken me some time and you will see it soon. But in the meantime, I will be quilting this quilt with an edge to edge pattern, but do not worry, my next video, I will give you ideas on how I would personally custom quilt this quilt for you all. And here is the backing I will be using, which is a Moda Grunge. Since this fabric collection is a little bit old and I didn't buy enough yardage beforehand. Now for this quilt, my go-to thread choice would be one of these medium blue shades. 
and also a light gray shade. But I thought I would be a little bit daring since I'm not custom quilting this quilt and go with a navy or a really dark navy blue instead. Now this is actually a little bit out of my box so I did contemplate it just for a little bit but I thought heck let's just go for it and give it a try. So I ended up picking the color Denim by Glide Thread. And here is my final quilt. I quilted it with an edge to edge pattern called African Samba. I will have a link for it down below in the description as well. Now normally this quilt's edge to edge pattern, I would quilt it on a smaller scale, but I thought I would leave it as it was originally designed since my blocks are also jumbo. Now I do hope you have enjoyed my latest quilt pattern called Padlock. If you could please take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified for your next amazing quilt project.